Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is Valder Beebe, live in Dallas, Texas. Who Hi. do I have in the studio with me? You have Jennifer Donnelly. Nice to meet you, Valder. Well, thank you so very much, Jennifer. I want to talk about your book that I had a chance to finish over the weekends called Good. Sea Spell. Good, because I want it's, to talk about it, too. Yeah, <laughs> it's the final book in a water, fi uh, water fire saga. I didn't read the previous book, but I love Sea Spell. Tell me, give me a synopsis of that. Thank you so much. The, the whole series is about, um, it started with Deep Blue, went on to Rogue Wave, and then Dark Tide finishes with Sea Spell. And it's about six teenage mermaids who are summoned by a very mysterious river witch, and they have to come together. And the witch tells them they have to defeat this ancient evil that's threatening their world that's been buried for thousands of years under the ice sheet in the Antarctic. So they have this big quest that they have to face and that they have to complete. But they have personal quests that they're on, too, to sort of overcome their fears and their insecurities, their failures, and learn how to work together as a group and how eventually to triumph. I kind of got a little Percy Jackson yeah. in there. Yeah. It's where, been, where does that where does that fit in? <laughs> it's been called a reviewer actually called the series Percy Jackson with Mermaids. It's ah. also it's been called Game of Thrones with Mermaids because of the battles and the romance and the dragons. Um, it's it's not set in Westeros. It's set underwater with mermaids and and manta rays, and it's um, a lot more G-rated. Uh, no naked people walking around or swimming around in this series. Um, but what it's what it's about most of all is um, in every single book and in, in the series as a whole is a story of friendship and about how these these six characters come together about how this you know, this quest of such magnitude works on them and how it changes them, makes them stronger, and teaches them the real meaning of friendship. Your previous books have won so many awards, and I think this one will do also, too. Do you kind of see movie mini-series for your book? I, I certainly see it. Um, I think this series in particular uh, has a lot of potential. It's very, very visual, and there's just... There's so much going on, I think, to appeal to a moviegoer, but um, that decision's up to Disney, so we'll have to wait and see. This is uh, an adult book, but why does it cross over to younger people also? Do you, do you know that as this, a writer? This series is actually written um, for middle graders, uh, the, the ah. Waterfire, sort of, I would say, anywhere from age 8 to 14, so it does go into that young adult territory as well. But having said that, I get lots of adult readers who write and who sort of shyly admit to still loving mermaids and believing in mermaids and really enjoying the series. I must be young at heart because I really <laughs> I think thought so. it was an adult book. <laughs> there, you know, there was you know no gratuitous violence or anything like that, but it was so well written. I really thought that was your aiming audience. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, you did a great job on that. If you had a dream for a book, and I think every book should have its own dream, what would be your dream? My dream for this book and, and the series as a whole is to really inculcate a love of our ocean environments, our river environments, ponds and lakes, and all the creatures who dwell in them in my young readers. Um, I don't believe in sort of preaching to kids or hitting them over the head with messages. I believe in telling them a story, letting them relate to the characters, and letting them see for themselves why they should value these environments and the creatures who make their homes there. All right. Jennifer Donnelly is my guest today, and she's a girl after my own heart when she's talking about the environment. Let me ask you about your book. When, um, when you, you, you bring this to the, to the marketplace, how do you know to do all of this? This is not, 
your your standard writing fair. No, no, it's not. And I would say I'm I'm probably a better writer than a marketer. Um, it, it's it's sort of new ground for me as well. But I I believe that the story will speak for itself, and the story will find its reader and its audience, and um, that's been borne out so far. Well, obviously it has. How come you know so much about making these creatures and and all of that? That's what I'm trying to get to. How do you know? How do you know all of this without maybe being a marine biologist or well, something like I'm, that? Well, I'm I'm a wannabe marine biologist. I have always loved um, the sea, any body of water, and I just want to be in it. So I'm a very immersive author and. Uh, in addition to researching through books and the internet and, and whatnot, I get out there and I get in these environments. So I'm swimming in the ocean and the sea and I'm walking along, you know, the muddy shores of ponds and absorbing that wonderful muddy smell and listening to bullfrogs call and watching dragonflies fly and taking all those attributes and the beauty of these creatures and imbuing my own characters with these things. I can understand it now as I've read your book. Let me ask you. Where can my audience find out more about you? Because I'm going to give away a couple copies of the book after I finish this conversation. Okay, they can go to my website, www.jenniferdonnelly.com, or they can go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and go under Jen Wright's Books. And I'm, I'm very interactive with my readers. I love to hear from readers, so I, I return my emails and I respond to posts. I love to have those conversations. I believe that. And if you'd like a copy of Sea Spell, just go to my Facebook page, Valder BB Show, click on the icon, and I'm giving away a few copies. That's how good the book is. <laughs> Jennifer Donnelly, I want to thank you for being a good writer. You paid a lot of attention in school to either English or some other teacher. I you did. did a good job. Thank you. You did a really good job. Thank you, and the best of luck. I can't wait for the big screen uh, version of your book. You and me both, Balder. Thank you.